Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Home Designing with Todd. Right, boys? Yay! So today, I'm going to show you a room that I did all by myself that I decorated, I designed, I picked the colors, the furniture, the pillows, the accents. I did the bathroom. I did the closets. All for my little baby girl right here, Blaze, right? What you think? You like it? Well, she's not talking yet, but... um. First off, let's start off with the marquee letters. So I think every kid needs to see their name in lights before they actually see their name in lights one day. So I went with the marquee letters up on the wall. Actually, I did it in Ace Room. He had the rustic letters, but I wanted hers to be more sleek and clean, so I went with white letters. So I think that's big. Let's see, let's see what she feels about her name in lights. Look, take a look at your name. Look at your name. Look, look, look. See, she's smiling, yeah, yeah. So, I went with gray because I think gray is like a real kind of calm, even kind of blank sheet to where you can add little pops. So we did gray and gray is kind of trendy right now. Everybody's doing the gray rooms or whatever. So this chandelier was a chandelier that we had downstairs that ended up in a closet somewhere. So me, myself, I don't like to buy new stuff if we have some stuff that still works. And, it's, and it looks cool. Candy was like, I don't know why you're using that old chandelier, but it's popping to me. So if you look around, this right here, this day bed right here. Let me see if I can lay her down for two seconds. You like your day bed? Hey, hey, I think she likes it. You like it? Yeah, she likes her day bed. So this was Ace's old bed. So it was a hand-me-down. Once again, Candy's like, why you don't use that old thing? This is from Restoration Hardware. It costs a pretty penny, but it's not about that. It was still a hand-me-down. When I was young, I got a few hand-me-downs, so we're not too good for hand-me-downs in this house. Right, Blaze? See, she's smiling. See? Yay! Then, if you look around the room, this chair right here, this rocker, this was also a piece that Ace had in his room that Candy used to rock him in. We also went with the gray, so it's different tones of gray, but it kind of still worked. Then, uh... I'll be right back, Blaze. Don't, don't leave, okay? Then over here is the changing table. This was also Ace's changing table. Has a couple of scratches on it, but it has that rustic kind of great look. Um, these mirrors were some old mirrors that I found downstairs in the closet. And it, it came out pretty cool. These are stuffed animals. This rocker right here was Ace's old rocker. Ace gave her this rocker, the elephant. He gave her this one, which is the rabbit. And the other ones were just new gifts. And actually, the Hawks gave us this. Season tickets. This is all I get. Oh, all right. We love y'all at the Hawks. We have the day bed. You want to go sit on your day bed? Come on. Yeah, look at us smiley. So this is Blaze's day bed. This is where she likes to kick it. So I think everybody has this pillow. I've seen this pillow in other people's houses. I think I'm going to get rid of that one. But um, it's comfortable. It's cool. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. She's she going crazy. She's going crazy. Once again, she has some more stuffed animals that she likes to play with and roll around with. Uh, let's sit back here. Come on. Whoa, whoa. Calm down out there. Yeah, so this is her day bed. Once again, the gray. And with the gray, you could infuse the purple. Purple is cool. The pinks, different gray tones. But the cool part about the day bed is if someone wants to come over to spend the night, we got some place for them to stay. So as, eight, as Blaze gets older, her little spend the nights, she has this, she can grow up with it and uh, I don't have to spend too much money changing this room. You all right over there? Oh, daddy's not doing a good job. Come on, come on. This room here was Kayla's room. Uh, Kayla left us, went back to New York. We wanted to keep all the kids upstairs. So next door is Ace and on the other side is Riley. So all the young kids upstairs. And then if Kayla comes back, she'll either, I'm not putting her next door cause that's like your own house to yourself. So she'll probably go downstairs where she'll have her own kitchen, living room. It's a big setup down there. So this is her bathroom, which I redid. Um, went with the grays again, grays and marbles. Wanted to have like a little accent wall, so that's like a mosaic kind of tile thing, but I stayed in that kind of gray and white family. Um, changed out the tub. I think that's the original faucet because I'm cheap. I'm like, if we can still use it, we keep it. 
There's no need, because that stuff is expensive. Have you ever bought a faucet? No, for real, price them. Like, they can cost like a couple hundred dollars, even thousands and hundreds. Yeah, it's crazy, it gets big, it gets big. So yeah, this is her toilet. This is where she's gonna poop when she gets bigger, like Ace. And then we're gonna move into her closet. Ooh, look at this closet. So we redid the floors, so it's kind of a gray wood look. And then um, put up some shelving for her, as you can see. She has a lot of little knickknacks and things. Diapers and walkers and stuff we still haven't opened. This is all her gear, so she tries to stay fresh. You know, nice little stuff, little girly stuff, little colorful stuff. You know, I'm not into babies wearing designer. She has some designer stuff, but I'm not into all of that because they grow out of it as soon as they get it. This would be something mommy would have in here. No bedroom candy in my baby's room. Mommy, how did I do on designing this room? Whoa, 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 let me tell you. And then we have a TV. See, this is key. Fellas, fellas, if you're gonna do your kid's room, you gotta make sure you have a big TV in here so you can watch the games. You know what I mean? Watch your shows. Cause you know, you're gonna, you're gonna get stuck on daddy duty sometimes. And if you ain't got a big TV to watch it, come on, bro, you know how it could be. It could be a little crazy. And this is right here, cause we like to give her some floor time. Cause you wanna get them on their bellies. She's six months, so you gotta give her some belly time. See if she can lift up, hold her head up. Yeah. How you doing, Blaze? Whoa, whoa, you looking a little crazy right there. Hey, hey. What's up, you got a boogie? You got a boogie, come here. Give me that boogie out your nose. You good? You having fun? Hey, hey. <sighs> Babe. Thank you. Old lady with the long toenails in your shoe. <laughs> what you need to know? Well, talk about how I designed this room and how amazing it is. Yeah, oh, you did a great job. I would have to say that when it comes to fashion, design, or stuff like that, that type of creative stuff, he's the better one. <laughs> hey. I am... You know, I can pull it together if I like, you know, get a whole bunch of magazines or something and put my mind to it, but that's not really my strength. That's his strength. So when he said that he wanted to um, take over, but, I said, go ahead. You know, when I went to use this light that was in the closet downstairs and Ace's old bed, mm -hmm. why are we so adamant? Oh, she got to have new stuff. Like, why did you? Because I wanted like... her to have her own thing. Like, I didn't want her to have to be everything had to be her brother's old stuff. I just felt like he wasn't trying to give her her. What was this spot on her face? Mm -hmm. I just felt like he was just trying to give her all of his hand-me-downs, which is okay, but. Hand-me-downs are okay. I'm not saying anything is wrong with her, but she's a girl. What is that on your face? No, leave her alone. Okay, excuse me. <laughs> they gave her a mole. Oh my god, now you gotta wipe her face down. Her eyes gonna be irritated. All right, she's looking like we was good to you all day. Anyway, so yeah, so why was you? Why did you? Why were you tripping so much about hand-me-downs? Like Ace's bed, Ace's changer, his little rocking chair. Like, why did you feel like everything had to be new? Well, I just felt like, you know, she's our baby girl. Mm-hmm. She got all the stuff. Like, why she gotta use this stuff? But by the time she realizes it, all of this stuff will be out of here. I mean, of course. She will not even remember sleeping in there. I think it's more so of a thing that you do that all the time. You do it all the time, and sometimes it can be annoying. Hey. He, listen. Well, if you see how amazing this stuff looks in this room and how happy she is, you've seen her smiling. Okay, people. If Come you want on, me to keep it 100, Oh, now she's gonna keep it 100. <laughs> yeah, like I, I like I believe in saving too, but sometimes he go overboard with it, and it's not just in this room. He did a good job in the room. I'm not taking that away from him. He did a good job, but I'm just saying, it's been so many times. Well, let's stick with like, the room. Let's stick with the we room. We don't have to spend that on this, and then later on, he end up wanting to spend it anyway to get to change whatever it is that he didn't do the first time. So I just like to get it right the first time, whereas he want to like go cheap the first time. No matter what you do, they always find a problem. But as you can see, this you room turned out amazing. You. And there's nothing I would change in here. Would you, Blaze? Is there anything you would change? Huh? Nope. <laughs> Blaze is happy. Outwork. She needs some more artwork. That's about it. 
Anyway, this is my design and I like it as it is. Why'd you ask and that's me, that. man? I didn't ask you if she needed our artwork. <laughs> Please leave. And <laughs> let me. I'm about to break my toenail. Come up these steps. Well, go on ahead with your big toenail, okay? Leave me alone. All right, Blaze. Let's let's hang out, Blaze. Goodbye. Say bye, mommy. Bye. Yeah. Goodbye.